so we have this uh, patient who is having this broken root stem the artery treated tooth which is broken i have given the gingival crevicular crevicular incision now i will just divide this i will just divide this tooth into two halves okay i will divide it into two halves so the two roots will be separated okay like this So now I think the forcation is broken. Now I try to elevate the root like this. Okay, this is a luxative elevator. You can see. Suction. Suction. Yes. This is a luxative elevator. and i'm just trying to elevate the tooth so this okay so the tooth is elevated this on root is out and another root the gentle traction gentle traction and the tooth is out okay so that is how we can we can just easily take out the roots uh, in lower molar tooth we need to break the forcation area and just elevate the roots separately and also if we do immediate implants here we can use the sockets okay so atraumatic extraction is necessary before implant so we are not going going to do implant today we will do a delayed implant after the healing process is complete so that is how the extraction is done and now i'm curating the periapical area so if there is any granulation tissue that will be removed by this curate and now the irrigation part i irrigate the area suction okay and by this taking we also uh, can save this this acetreated you know acetreated tooth there is entry you can see the crown is here so without any uh, trauma to this tooth we have uh, extracted the uh, the decayed tooth now i will show you the the suturing technique that is we will give a horizontal mattress locking suture so that is that is like bado kore ha bado kore ha dul kal ta tanak shoro so this is the first bite here on the buccal aspect first bite here okay first bite complete now the lingual bite and the paralingual mucosa is completed now again third bite will be on the lingual mucosa like this okay and the fourth one will be on the buccal mucosa buccal not buccal the labial gingiva okay labial gingiva now i will pass this needle through this loop okay like this so i pass this needle through this loop you can see yes now i will tighten the suture so you can see how nicely the flaps are coming together and in implant with bone grafting we can use this type of suture and this is very nice for control of bleeding and closure of the socket now we'll just close the so that is how we can do the extraction and the closure of the socket